Well, on March 28th, Harvard announced a 5% decrease in its applications amid the Claudine Gay scandal involving pervasive campus anti-Semitism and plagiarism and all sorts of other classy things. Schools and universities around the country are being investigated for discrimination and anti-Semitic reasons and so much more. Not only that, but it has been reported that some universities cost over $90,000 a year for attendance. Ah! Financial aid doesn't help as some students would have to come up with $10,000 of their own money per year to attend some colleges or more. It's Pretty remarkable. Most students would not be able to afford this insanely high-priced education, so much so that Gen Z workers are going into trades, and it's about time. Prices are skyrocketing. Anti-Semitic issues continue within the universities. It's all a mess. New technologies and rising pay make plumbing and welding and carpentry more appealing when compared to universities these days. Here with me to discuss all of this is Campus Reform's Editor-in-Chief, Dr. Zachary Marshall. Doctor, nice to see you again. You as well. I mean, let's let's compare and contrast, okay? Uh, you get out of high school, you're 18 years old. Let's say you go to college for five years, you're 23 years old, you've got $80,000 in debt and a job, a prospect that'll get you $50,000. Oh, that doesn't work so well. Or you could be a carpenter that makes $80,000 a year or a, or a welder. Man, welders are making good money right now. It could be $100,000 a year. You could drive an 18-wheeler and make hundred grand pretty easy. And five years on, you might have saved $250,000 and be investing or creating your own business. Seems like that's uh, kind of a no-brainer for some folks. Doctor, pretty obvious, isn't it? It's a no-brainer for students, and it's a no-brainer for the country. The Francis Scott Key Bridge collapse just is another reminder that we need people in this country who know how to build things, who know how to manufacture things. We don't need another radical barista who read Proust and Judith Butler in their first year seminar and now has purple hair making your latte. I think the tuition bubble is about to burst, and I think we're about to see it start with Harvard University with applications down. And I think we're about to see it in a few years later this decade when schools start to charge almost $100,000 per year. That's $400,000 for a piece of paper. Yeah, $400,000 for a piece of paper. Now, I have said for a long time that I believe these universities should be co-signers on these student loans. Look, if you sell a kid a degree, pick your whatever it is, communications, a billion communications degrees, and you leave that kid with eighty or $100,000 in debt, and five years on, they don't have a job that can even begin to pay back that, that student loan, that the universities that sold that lousy, worthless degree should be on the hook as a co-signer. That would change things, wouldn't it? Yeah, and it's also rich that the universities are saying, oh, no big deal that we're uh, spending, we're asking you to spend 90000 plus dollars a year, you can get financial aid. Financial aid packages do not decrease the cost of colleges. Universities are putting more and more money into things that have nothing to do with education, whether it be DEI offices and programming, or yet another transgender week or sex week. And that is what is driving the cost of colleges. Campus reform has been reporting for years that it's these amenities and student services that are the root of the problem. Universities need to slim down and learn to do operate with less and charge people less. Wow, what a concept. Too bad our own government doesn't think about that. We bring in four and a half trillion dollars and we spend, what do they want, 7.3 trillion? I have an idea. Spend the four and a half trillion dollars and whatever you don't buy, put on the list for next year. Same thing with universities. Look, I did the whole college tour here a couple of years ago. And they're not selling an education, doctor, you probably know this. They're selling a food plan and an entertainment plan. That's it. As far as anything else, everything else is just noise. The education, yeah, yeah, there's an education. But look, you get snacks and you get this, this food court and you get these rock walls to climb. What's wrong with American education is we're not selling an education anymore. Yeah. We're selling entertainment. And that's wrong. And it's really expensive. Yeah, you know, I was doing college tours 20 years ago, and I think that might have been the tail end of when there was a real distinction between education and qualities at different institutions. Now, I don't think there is that much of a difference between the so-called top 10 universities in this country and your local state school. Go to the school that makes the most sense for you financially. I have three degrees. One of them is from George Mason University, a public university in Virginia, and I was able to do it as an in-state you know, resident, and it hasn't hurt me one bit. Everyone should make 
uh, what the choices that make sense for them financially. And sometimes that's vocational training, and sometimes that's community college. The idea that everyone needs a four-year degree is ludicrous. It, it is ludicrous. Look, uh, you go anywhere in this country right now. Try to find a handyman. You know, I went. I needed two windows in a house here the other day, and I yeah. went to a local store. They said, you, you got to buy three. But but I don't need three. I just want two. Well, if you don't buy three, we're not going to install them. I'm like, I need two windows. You got to buy yeah. three. And I'm like, this is the kind of nonsense that goes out of the world. But try to find a carpenter to do smaller jobs or try to find somebody to do handyman work. It's almost impossible. And if you do find somebody, guess what? They're charging you for the convenience. They're getting 50, 60, 80 bucks an hour. It's a good business. It's a good deal. If you've got mm -hmm. a, a contracting license or a, or a carpenter license or you can weld or do HVAC or do plumbing, all of those things pay good money. And, I, and then I go back to the driving of the 18-wheelers. Men and women both can go make $100,000 right now. You can be 20 years old taking an 18-wheeler down the road, uh, putting a lot of money in your pocket because if you're driving, you're not spending. I'll give you the last word. Yeah, have you, have you ever noticed it's the left? That's the one that's always bringing up that blue-collar job jobs are also good jobs it's they are always trying to sell uh four-year degrees for everyone as if you need them you know conservatives know that there is dignity in work and that doesn't matter what type of job you have there is nothing wrong with having a job that doesn't require a four-year degree that's right you don't always need a four-year degree you need common sense and you need some, exactly. some capital build it you know the one thing colleges don't teach people is how to create your own business they teach you how to be a cog in the machine oh you get your degree and you just go plug in over here and you work for somebody else for the rest of your life no thank you uh zachary marshall always appreciate you being here thank you for having me